and urine, respectively. Therefore, you tell the examiner that after your first question, you're unable to put the cause of Mrs. Horn jaundice into one category or other, because whether the cause is hepatocellular or that of biliary obstruction, stools become lighter, and there is a tendency for diarrhea, as exhibited by Mrs. Horn's answers. And therefore, you seek permission to proceed and ask your second question. The examiner will tell you to proceed. You tell the examiner, I would like to know something about the color of Mrs. Horn's urine. Because since the first question was regarding the color of the stools, the second question has to be the, regarding the colors of the urine. Because stools and urine go very well together. And so, Mrs. Horn, can you please tell us whether you've noticed any change in the color of your urine? Has it become darker, Mrs. Horn, or has it become lighter, Mrs. Horn? Much, much darker. Thank you, Mrs. Horn. Well, how does that fit with jaundice? Well, what colours the urine normally? Again, as I've explained to you earlier on, we don't call the pigment in the urine bilirubin, we call it urobilinogen, but it is dry from bilirubin, but the point about obstructive jaundice and that of hepatocellular jaundice, there is actual bile pigment in the urine, so the urine becomes much, much darker. And therefore, you tell the examiner that after your second question, you are still unable to put the cause of Mrs. Horn jaundice into one category or other, because whether the cause of jaundice is hepatocellular or whether the cause of jaundice is biliary obstruction. Stools become lighter, urine becomes darker, and there is a tendency for diarrhea. Therefore, you seek